All right, let's call the... Move it a little closer, thank you. All right, I'm calling to order the Community Advisory Board meeting for October 2nd. Um, do we want to do roll call? So, uh, Melinda? Present. And present. River? Present. And I am present, Rachel Paul. Brian, we'll talk about that. Marty? Present, ma'am. Um, Kaimi? No. Chris? Okay. And of course, Chief Slowick and, and Meg. Um, all right, do we have a um, motion to approve the uh, agenda from last time? So moved. Okay. I second that. Okay, let the record show that the motion uh, to approve the minutes um, has been approved. Was was what? We just, we just approved it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, public comment. No, but if I skip, if I miss so something, we just approved the, the agenda. agenda. Sorry. And I will move that we approve the minutes from the cab meeting of September fourth. And I second the approval. All in favor? All right. Time for public comment. No public comment today. All right. I'm going to turn this over to Chief Slowick then. All right. Good afternoon, everybody. I um, appreciate everybody being here. Um, so a couple items that I just wanted to talk about really quick is just to notify uh, CAB that we did receive the Department of Justice COPS hiring grant. So that's a, um, a big win for the city. The, um, the hiring grant is for five new officers and the uh, grant cost is $125,000 per officer. It's broken up over a three year period. So really, you know, it's, a, it's about um, a third of an officer each year is what it pays for. And then the, uh, once we sign the grant, the agreement is that we'll maintain employing that officer into a fourth year or through a fourth year to be eligible to reapply for that grant in the future. So it's a great win. Um, city staff is uh, working with the mayor and, um, and figuring out how to add that to the budget and, and all of those other items, but it's a, it's a big success and we've already notified city council about that. So are there any questions? Uh, Congratulations. That. Yeah, it is a big thing. And, we, Congratulations. and honestly, I just really want to recognize Wendy Horn. She was the one, she's our grant administrator and does an amazing job helping us write the grants. It takes a big load off the rest of our staff. So we really appreciate Wendy. Can you pass along our thanks as well to her? Because we appreciate it too. Certainly, certainly. So the other item I just wanted to talk about really quick is that we're currently um, looking at redefining our school safety zones. And right now we have two city ordinances um, that talk about school, uh, school parking around the high school. And what were, uh, there was a citizen that came forward to a city council meeting, requested that we look at that as a bigger picture for the whole city. And um, so we are drafting an ordinance and working with our city attorney, city engineer, engineer and our development services uh, department to make an ordinance that can be applied to all K through 12 schools in the city and that um, will have the same uh, clear instructions and markings for citizens so they understand what it means to be able to park in a school safety zone. It's a parking ordinance is really what we're talking about. And then uh, the other part of that is the education enforcement piece. So, so for the police side so that we know that we can consistently enforce that school zone um, and it's applicable in, in every location. So that's the other uh, part that we're really wanting to make sure that we're um, taking care of in the new ordinance. Uh, and then lastly is as new schools come online within the city, uh, that ordinance would then be able to be applied. So our city engineer would know, understand, hey, when we design a sidewalk or street parking adjacent to a school, they'll be able to apply that ordinance uh, at the new school as well. So we're excited for that. 
The anticipated date um, after talking with our city clerk is the November uh, workshop, city council workshop meeting is the plan of when that will be presented to city council um, as a workshop and discussion point. Is there a lot that needs to be revamped at the schools in order to accommodate the new ordinance? Yeah. So currently our one ordinance uh, is a parking ordinance that talks about school parking on Northwest 2nd, um, really between Fairhaven, South, or Northwest Fairhaven and uh, Northwest Heller. That parking is current and it was updated when the school, the high school was remodeled. Um, the other ordinance is um, a parking ordinance on streets that surround the high school, and it, it calls for a parking permit to be issued by the city, specifically by the police department. We don't issue parking permits. So there's things, there's language cleanup that we need to do um, with our city ordinance to make sure that we're current with how we do um, you know, city work, and also to make sure that it's consistent throughout the city. So as we expand that zone, I think it's it's easier to make a one plan for a school safety zone for parking versus trying to pick and choose at different schools. So we're just looking at updating all of that at one time. So currently it says that there are uh, city or parking passes required but you don't issue parking don't. passes. So that's getting taken out of the language. It is. And, and we get people, I don't know, it could be hit or miss, but maybe three or four people a year will come in and ask for a parking pass and, and we don't issue passes. Um, you know, people change, people sell their houses, their rental houses, people move those type of things. So um, additionally, we don't have the staff to manage parking passes and all of those other things for street for street park you're talking about street parking on a city right away so. I have a question yeah. would this um, all this editing that you guys are doing is this also going to help with that RV situation by the middle school so so it would help so it doesn't yeah so the really the ordinance that we're looking at is creating um, no parkings on streets that are adjacent to the schools between a certain time of day and let's hypothetically say it's a 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. unless you're doing um, uh, pick up drop off like parent pick up drop off or if you're in the two locations where it's sort of a drive through staging area so that you can pull into the school parking lot for pick up drop off. Those two drive-through areas are Oak Harbor Elementary School on um, Southeast Jerome Street, and then also Olympic View, which is on uh, Northeast Regatta. So everything else would just be a no parking area. Perfect, thank you. Yep. Other questions or comments? All right, so let's move on to member comments. Coffee with the Cop was really fun. Loved it. Thank you guys for being there. It was fun. What was turnout like for that? It was, it was pretty good. It was good turnout for the first responders. And then there was, I don't know, maybe give or take 20 people that were coming and going as community members. So uh, some people were there specifically for the event, which was really nice. And some people just sort of stumbled upon it. Um, I'll say the probably 100 people that went through the drive-through were greeted by uh, several officers that were, you know, handing out, taking credit cards and handing out coffee. So it was pretty nice. But, yeah. That's really nice. Yeah. Thank you for doing that for the community. That's fantastic. And, yeah, and that was all coordinated by actually one of our record specialists uh, this, for this event. So that was uh, Lacey, Lacey Lutz. So that was really um, special that she did that. Thank you. Any other comments? Question? Yes? Yep. Are you going to have an event like that uh, frequently? Are we going to see those on a regular basis? I think we're planning on one in a couple months is what I was told. So um, we'll let everybody know. Um, 
it really is dependent on staffing and, and some of our staffing challenges while we get people through um, uh, field training or out of the academy and then through field training which is taking almost four months for the field training piece uh, we're having staff dropping off because of medical issues and other you know other senior staff and so it's been just a consistent um, challenging trying to make sure we stay above our minimum staffing needs so so having that extra staff available is, is important to making you know events like this successful I think you should do one in December and everybody wear Santa hats. Perfect. We should do it right at the tree lighting. Like we can coordinate that. That would be fantastic. Uh, any other questions or comments? I, I will just add one other thing. Um, we are debuting our school themed police wrap on our police car. We have a police car that we're getting school theme wrap put on. Um, and that's going to get debuted at the homecoming football game next Friday. So a week from this Friday. So just a fun, fun opportunity to come uh, to the football game, see that. Uh, and the, the the design for the theme or for the wrap was created by the high school CAD uh, class from last year that graduated last year. So pretty cool. So I'm very confused by this. Wrap, you mean? Uh, like a, a, like it's a decal wrap okay, that, okay. that gets put on the car. Sorry. I thought Not, maybe. Somebody beatboxed. That's it. what I thought you were talking about. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we'll see if our school resource officer can beatbox. I don't know. You might kazoo or something like that. So when you say school themed, like Oak Harbor Wildcats kind of thing? Or? Yeah, so it, it says Oak Harbor Police Department on it. It does have a wildcat, large wildcat logo. But every um, school crest for the public schools are is is going to be a sticker is going to be on the vehicle. So we really want to represent all schools. However, we know our high school everything leads towards the high school and and that wildcat. So it is a wildcat um, theme wrap. Yeah, pretty neat, pretty exciting. And Humphrey Signs is the one that's doing it for us locally, and they've been a great partner. And the school district's been a great partner. So very excited. Can, what was the the start of this? Like, how did this come about? Uh, just trying to have some school spirit. I'll be honest. It was conversations last year, at the end of last school year, about you know how can we be, um, how can we unite everybody together? How how can we show support for the high school and our students? How can we just do th different something different? So, yeah, excited. Well, thank you. That's really cool and definitely unique. I haven't seen any other departments do something like that. So kudos for standing out. Yeah. Thanks. So I have a question about the surveys. The, at the last meeting, you talked about um, possibly stopping the surveys um, at the end of October or perhaps extending that. What are you so we, thinking about that? Yeah, initially we had uh, plan to stop the or the survey was ending at the October 1st date um, if you live within the city we did a flyer last uh, month or last week in our utility bill that had a coffee with a cop and also the QR code and information about our survey you know hope to get more input um, I did have the survey pulled last week and uh, you know the, the participation was pretty low so like like the hundred right at 100, so pretty, very low. So if you guys can fill out the survey about five more times, I'd appreciate that. But, um, you know, I really hope is, we're, I think we're gonna extend it through October and see if we can get a little more participation. Yeah, we, we, we do know that the, like the home connect, or the homecoming game coming up, there's gonna be a tailgate party. We're gonna try to just get a little more interaction with people. Thank you. I was hoping you were going to say that you were extending the yeah. time for that. So. Yeah, I, I, there's no rush in closing it right away. Um, you know, we do want to get some really good information to see, you know, how can we direct some of our resources and, and what does that mean? What, how, are, what are people's feelings about safety and, uh, you know, in our community? 
Meg, is there a way I can get some more paper copies? I actually, the ones that you gave me, I took over to the Chamber of Commerce and they have them sitting on their front counter. So now I don't have any. But can I get some? Whatever you can make, it doesn't matter. Thank you. Yeah, so I'll just say we haven't really been getting paper copies back. So while they may be going out, they're not getting returned to us. So that's a challenge. So there's a return issue with that, right? It, either you stand there with the person and watch them do the survey, which is problematic for lots of reasons, or you count on them to return it. I'm wondering if there's a place where we could have just a drop box or something. Well, we, I, mean, I mean, I guess it, this is really for you could drop older it off folks at, or at any city facility. I mean, we'll, we'll pick it okay. up. I'll, it's been facility, you know, we have put, put the information out to our city staff and stuff. So, I mean, really people could drop it off. They could call us, I guess, and pick it up. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't have a great answer. I don't feel like we don't have the resources to put like prepaid postage or anything like that. On. Yeah, I don't have a good suggestion. I'm other than standing there and watching people yeah. do the survey. But just a question: Would you mind if the people that I handed out to, or like if I I made a post because I, I regularly do that, but made a post on social media saying if you had a survey, they could drop it off to my store and then I could come deliver them to you guys. I, if they can drop it off to your store, they probably could drop it off to the police department or the city hall or a chamber. I mean, that would probably be the, like, those would be the, like, I think you really want to try to keep it out of individual things and keep it more group app settings. Br dropping off a city facility would be the preferred method. So. Okay. Yeah. This is kind of a tough thing because the very people that we're hoping would answer the surveys are the ones that are the least likely, I would think to drop it off somewhere. I don't know what the solution is. I'm just saying maybe that's why. You haven't gotten any paper. Yeah. Yeah. Other questions or comments? No. All right, future agenda items. Am I looking at the right thing? So I think the no. one item that we need to decide today is we did get a resignation for Brian Hunt from the Community Advisory Board. And so he was the chairperson, so I think we need to select a new chairperson. I'd like to motion that Rachel is the new chairperson. I'm opening up the floor for nominations. <laughs> I'd like to make a nomination for Rachel. I would also like to nominate Rachel as our chairperson. And I'm going to second and third that. <laughs> so we have enough people here to do that, right? Because we've got the missing. Well, you, you are all here. All the voting members are here. OK. No further discussion. I guess we're voting. Is that? Yeah, we've all, we've all voted. All right. So now we need a vice chair. That's correct, yeah. If, you, if you're not here, we would need a vice chair. So I'm willing to nominate anybody who wants to do it. Is there someone who I would, would love to? Okay, I would like to nominate River Powers at this okay. time as the vice chair. I'm just nominating the arbitrator. It's up to you, dear. I'll nominate Melinda. <laughs> I'll second that. Yay. We take a vote. Aye. 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 Excellent. Thank you. Th okay. Thank you. All right, so future agenda items. So I guess the other question would be is, do you guys want to continue going month to month, or do you want to go every other month? Or what would you like to do? We haven't had a ton to discuss last month and this month. There's there's not a ton. I think that we could easily go every other month or even quarterly. So 
may I suggest maybe we go every other month, which will take us December, and then maybe starting the new year, we can look at going quarterly or something. I love that. I move that we change our meeting schedule to every other month, skipping November and making December our next meeting. I second that. All in favor? Aye. So our next meeting will be, what the, what's the date then? That next day would be Wednesday, December 4th. Are we in agreement? Okay, very yep. good. So are we thinking in December we'll have someone from Citizens Academy speak? I think we'll have the Citizens Academy. I think we'll also have the survey completed. And um, yeah, it should be good. All right, any other questions or comments? We're gonna to move to adjourn. So moved. And seconded, Madam Chairman. All in favor? Okay.